I would like to speak today about perseverance. If we were to reflect upon the scriptures and in the writings of our Holy Fathers and Mothers, our thoughts might turn to the idea we are living in prophetic times. Wars, natural disasters, civil disobedience, overall lack of a moral compass with many individuals, and of course, the illnesses that plague mankind. Presently, the COVID virus 19 has brought fear into the hearts of many. Plagues or pandemics have attacked mankind throughout history. First, let us remember the Lord is always with us. Let us pray for one another. And during this time of fear and confusion, let us grow in the spirit of love. Love not only for our families, but for all people. We need love today more than anything else. Secondly, in our fast moving society, we seem to have lost our understanding of the importance of patience. If we have the fortitude to embrace patience, we become stronger individuals in every aspect of our lives. Having patience is perseverance. It is the ability to hold on to a dream like a pit bull refusing to let go. The fear of the COVID virus 19 along with any other fear can be overcome through perseverance. One great example of an individual who had the strength to have exceptional perseverance was Mary Magdalene. St. Gregory tells us that we should reflect on Mary's attitude and the great love she felt for Christ. For though the disciples had left the tomb, she remained. She was still seeking the one she had not found. And while she sought, she wept burning with the fire of love. She longed for him whom she thought had been taken away. And so it happened that the woman who stayed behind to seek Christ was the only one to see him at the tomb. For perseverance is essential to any good deed. As the voice of the truth tells us, whoever perseveres to the end will be saved. At first she sought, but did not find. But when she persevered, it happened that she found what she was looking for. When our desires are not satisfied, they grow stronger. And becoming stronger, they take hold of their object. Holy desires likewise grow with anticipation. And if they do not grow, they are not really desiring. Anyone who succeeds in attaining the truth has burned with such a great love. As the prophet David says, my soul has thirsted for the living God. When shall I come and appear before the face of God? And so also in the Song of Songs, the church says, I was wounded by love, and again, my soul is melted with love. As Mary Magdalene made the decision to be perseverant in her desire to see Jesus, let us also make the decision to become perseverant in our lives with all that we may have to deal with. Let me end with sharing an old Indian prayer. Hold on to what is good, even if it is a handful of earth. Hold on to what you believe, even if it is a tree that stands by itself. Hold on to what you must do, even if it's a long way from here. Hold on to your life, even if it's easier to let go. And may I add, hold on to the hand of the Lord, no matter how close or far you may feel from him, because he is always with you.